Okay. <laughs> oh. You may. Hi, my name is Yu Chen. I'm here today with Phil for in for a haircut for independent woman. <laughs> oh. Looking forward to that. Okay. And I give permission for this uh, haircutting process to be videotaped. Okay. Will you turn for them so they see how your hair is growing out since last time? Yeah, since uh, December. Yeah, but will you turn for them so they can see that? Also the undercut? Yeah. It's growing back a lot. <laughs> yes. Yeah, nice. Did you like it? I liked it a lot, but after two weeks... Yeah, yeah. then it's growing back again. Mm -hmm. And then the, the feeling is gone. Yeah. The sexy feeling yeah, of the having... The feeling of touching the yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Friends on YouTube, mm -hmm. go do her hair again. Now she wants something edgy, she can get something edgy. <laughs> and normally she wants to get some symmetrical hairstyles. But now we're going to give her an asymmetrical hairstyle, but still with an edgy feeling in it. Start of course with protection, yellow cape, she loves it. I don't know why people from China love yellow cape. <laughs> no, it's not true. People from China love red. Uh, we always tell people from China are yellow, but it's also not true. Mm -hmm. I never saw a yellow Chinese. <laughs> oh, oh, once I body painted him. <laughs> it was a, a guy. Now I watched how her face is, and I'll explain how I come to asymmetrical lines. When I watch at her face, this eye comes to you. This is a very bright eye. This one is a little bit coming back in feeling. So when you watch this eye, it it takes you into her. This eye comes to you. So when I open this frame, and this I leave a little bit seducing, so this one will be sexy, and you have to find this eye also. So it gives more depth to the hairstyle. That's how I look at asymmetrical lines. Then I always watch at the lines of the skull, and they are going to be used into the hairstyle. So I first go into wet her hair, then part it, then I'll show you what I do. Yeah, that will be different. <laughs> but nice. And I can also work on the train. Yeah. I feel or sleep. I'm most, no, I never sleep on the train, but I'm mostly uh, productive on the train. Yeah, yeah. I know that I, I, the most paintings I ever made were made on the train. No, 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 <laughs> did not make it on the train. But the ideas uh, came in uh, kindergarten uh, when I was waiting for my kids when they played there. Uh, because that's kids. a dead moment for me, and that brings you to ideas that are not there at, uh, at that moment, but they will certainly be there because when you have nothing to do, <laughs> the best thing is to do something. <laughs> I thought when you said only half of the sentence, I thought you had all your inspiration when you were in kindergarten. Yeah, no, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any, any inspiration at that time. Okay, a part of the line. So you see this part. I will use, of course, the, the hairs as uh, volume because I don't want to get it ultra, ultra short. We always can do that afterwards. I'm also into the nape shave because it's laying beneath here, so I can get a wonderful nape shave, get beautiful lines in it, and then you see the rest. Take the hairs to the front, watch at the eyebrow line, go in with my hot razor. and create a round shape. No hard lines in this part. Go on top. Take it to the front again. Go on the same line. Twist the hairs a bit. Control the line. Come from the back, 
made first the line so I can see where I'm going. Come from the back on the center, turn a bit more so you can see that. Coming from the back, work on the skull bone. Lay the hairs a bit to the front and just let them flow into the lines of the skull. Round them with my fingers. Making sure that the line is nice, soft. The hot knife is uh, of Ergo. And Ergo is from the United States. I want to create something like also the Italian look, so I get a beautiful shape when the hair is laying down and I need some volume because otherwise I don't have the right shape. Take a new line on it, again watch at the natural lines, bend the hairs a bit. Gently lay them in the wonderful shape she has. I love to have a nice soft frame because then when I take some wet gel, she can lay it to the back, but she always has a feminine feeling into the hairstyle, so it's not a hard line like a boy would have. Go back to the front again, watch at the lines, and make sure they get in the rounding again. See that's a feminine line because all the lines are soft. You don't have to worry about the length of the hairs because the more I get to the lines on the center, the longer the hairs will be at the other side. So when they lay to the other side, they will certainly be longer and connect to the lines on the other side. The hot tool is also, also a nice tool to work with. Very gentle to the hair. Take the hairs on the line just with a tip. Thin out the line a bit. Do this, of course, on the back because I pull the hairs to the front. So the thinning part will be at the back of the hairs. Can go into the roundings of her hair. Take a new part. Take over the hairs again. Now the edgy part will be on a cat to the center. Here I only work with the tip of my knife. So I get a more crazy hairstyle and not the lines as stiff as all, all the lengths are the same. Let's only go in with the tip. You see how wonderful the lines are.
again only with the tip make the upper lines playable so it's more fun to go with the hands through the hairs but this is the short side of a haircut so you see how wonderful the lines travel into each other and how sexy this look the now I pardon myself the line of the line of cutting so this line is the same line as this line so I need to get the hairs into the same line this I do by pulling them to the back watch at the line start at the front and lay them in the rounding of the skull knowing that that part will be certainly longer but also watch at this length so this line is also that line and I have to find the lines on the same hairstyle of course mostly the first line is the most important line because it's strong, visible and it makes the hair start so when you watch closely you can see a shade that of the line I just made part in the same line to the back Lay the hairs on the line of cutting. Here's the line of cutting. You can see it. Just with the tip, go in. The wonderful thing of this is that when she lay all the hairs to the back, there's also a strong line that's still visible. And not there hanging longer hairs on the short part. And she never had an asymmetrical hairstyle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the first time. That can happen when you come to Holland. <laughs> Wetting in between. It's very important when you work with a knife that the hair is wet. Pipe myself a new line on it. Again, go over the center, use the skull as a shape. So lay all the hairs in the natural lines. Again, with the tip of my knife. Play with the lines. Still pointing to the longest side. Coming on the ears. You can use all the roundings of a skull. Lay the hairs in that surrounding. So it's very important to use the roundings. This way I'm certain that always the hairstyle will be a wonderful hairstyle and always suits her as a hairstyle. Nice that the neighbors make some noise now. Normally you don't hear anything here. Come to the last hair. You can lay all the hairs to the back. Leave them at the natural fall. So just use the roundings. And then you see that I'm always on the line with the hair that lays on front. So I'm certain that this line connects to this line. There's only a, a small part in difference in length, so that I have to correct, but then I have a perfect line on my head. Just pulling it to the back, 
using only the tip. And stay working the same line. And travel the same line back because it's important. Watch at the line of cutting. I see how wonderful the fall of the hair is. Coming to the neckline, it's underlaying hair. Don't force it. Just gently make the line soft. Holding the knife flat on her hair. And as long as the hair is wet, she don't feel a thing of being the knife, that the knife is hot. Because the water takes down the temperature of the knife. Last time I made her a V into the neckline, that I don't do now, because I think that now the lines soft are more nice to her. With a normal knife I take away the under hairs, because here you see it's jumping up, that I take away and the same as on the other side. In the underline, set the hairs aside, go in with my razor knife, not protected, and clean the neckline. Same on the other side, take the hairs up. And only the hairs that stick out the wrong way, I take away. Also correct the length of the hairs. Now on this hairstyle she has a wonderful shape. What I'm going to do is I give it a little bit slice techniques on top. Let us show you how to do that. Slicing the upper lines. Make use again of the rounding. Give it some jumpy effect. Get some more volume that I do near to the skin, about two centimeters from the skin. This will certainly give it that edgy effect. See that it gives a jumpy effect on the hairs. As a hairdresser, I love to slice cut. I think it's wonderful to play with the hairs. You need to have some practice in this, but then when the skills are there, it's wonderful to do. Give it also a slice effect a bit in the lines of a skull, in the lines of a face. So I watch through the hairs at the chin line and only do this to the part that's laying on the front because this will give a playable effect on the long part. Certainly made more sexy. So now I can make her a beautiful uh, shade of color in there. I would love to go to China for once. I think it's wonderful. 
KMA Turret Color made it with uh, 30 volume, that's uh, 9%. I took a, also, also a nice red tone. Starting on the center. Leaving the underlines in the natural color. And you don't have to bleach Chinese hair to get it into a red color because it's hard for the hairs and it breaks nothing, especially when you don't want to get a, a very dried out hairs. Better to do it this way. Because it's strong, I didn't put a conditioner in. You don't need the conditioner. And the color I use is the 666. Yeah, it sounds like a <laughs> demon color, but it's not, I think, uh, the devil is afraid of me. <laughs> I'm a, I love to be alive in the love of light, so I don't be scared of the devil. It brings nothing to me. My name is called uh, Gift by God. That's what my name is. Theo? Okay. I laid all the colors like this, so I have a line. Now close my plastic fold over this line, so I don't have to worry about laying on the natural color. And then I can lay the color on the plastic fold and bring it back again. So now I've covered the natural lines, so now I can comb the color on this. And you see it that the pink is already changing into something um, yeah, bloody <laughs> reddies. Now uh, it's a little bit like orange then, mm -hmm. but that, that's the first step of course. And because I did it with uh, 30 volume, it lights up natural colors. And her natural colors have already a bit of red color. So it will look stunning on her. So now all the colors on her hair, so I can close the plastic for her. Lay it on top, wait for 30 minutes. We go for tea and you just stay watching, we'll be back in a <laughs> second. Hello, we're back. Color is out after a half hour. So now I get to dry the hair. I'm going to blow dry it with a medium large brush. By blow drying it with my fingers, I can give it that edgy feeling. And you can see also all the techniques that I put into it. <laughs> it's a lot of hair. For so far blow drying, I just need a little bit of uh, hairspray and then she shows you this uh, new hairstyle of hers. Totally different hairstyle. <laughs> Very different. Oh my god. Will we still know you when you're coming home? Mm. I don't. Oh, you don't like the red Chinese. Uh. <laughs> Colors are out. 
I thank her for being my mother and thank you for watching. Till next time. My love, will you turn around to show this hairstyle to the world? I think you look edgy. Make photos of this. And thank you for being my model. Okay. Mm. Oh. You may. Hi, my name is Yuchan. I'm here today with Phil for in for a haircut for independent woman. Oh. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Okay. And I give permission for this uh, haircutting process to be videotaped. Okay. Mm. Will you turn for them so they see? How your hair is growing out since last time? Yeah, since uh, December. Yeah, but will you turn for them so they can see that? Also the undercut? Yeah, it's growing back a lot. <laughs> yes. Yeah, nice. Did you like it? I liked it a lot, but after two weeks... Yeah, then it's growing back again. Mm -hmm. And then the, the feeling is gone. Yeah. The sexy feeling yeah, of the having... The feeling of touching the yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.